jazz guitar enthusiasts, you asked for an easy beginner-friendly chord melody lesson on What a Wonderful World, so here it is. Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Sherman. Greetings from Austria. Louis Armstrong gave us this wonderful tune and I made a really easy chord melody arrangement which should be doable for most of you. I show everything slowly, note for note, slow and easy. And I've made tabs and a backing track which uh, can be download downloaded from one of the links down below in the description box. Let's get started. Are of course in the original key of F and we have an A, A, B, C song form. The A, A and B sections are eight bars while the C section is actually another A section of eight bars plus four bars of ending. So we should have a total of 36 bars if I calculate it correctly. All right, and this is how it works. I'm gonna play each um, phrase. I, I divided this by phrases. I'm gonna play each phrase uh, at regular tempo first, then I explain everything note for note, slow and easy, and then I play this phrase at a slow speed as well. All right, here we go. All right, here's phrase number one. We start with a pickup, those are two notes before the bar, fifth of G and a fifth of the B string. And I do this by already putting my index finger, uh, barring my index finger, because what follows is an F chord. So I already play a barred chord, play these two strings, and now I add an F in the C shape. That's the 8th fret of A, 7 of D, the 5th by barring, and the 6th of the B. And I play the inner four strings. I use a pick and my fingers. This is called hybrid picking. I have a lesson up here on my channel uh, how to hybrid pick. 
but you can use your fingers too. Uh, you can actually also strum, but strumming is harder because then you catch all the strings that you weren't supposed to strum. So I would suggest fingers or hybrid picking, all right? Oops, sorry. Then the B string only. A minor 7. That's the 7th of D, 9th of G, 8 and 8 of B and E. Then we have a B flat major chord. That's uh, here is the B flat on the 8th fret. 10, 10, 10 by barring upper four strings. Then I play that D twice, the E string. And back to the A minor 7 chord. 7, 9, 8, 8. Then I move this down two frets to the 5th. That's a G minor 7, of course. Here's the root G. 5, 7, 6, 6. And the E string twice. Then another F major 7, this time up here. 8, 10, 9, 10 of the inner four strings. Then I glide down these two fingers and wrap around the other two and I get an E diminished or actually it stands for it replaces an A7 flat 9. So that's the 7th of the A, 8th fret, 6th fret and 8th fret in a 4 strings only. And the B string twice, two more times. One. And the resolution is the D minor 7. 5, 7, 5, 6. You bar across and just play the inner four strings. And that was it. And now I'm going to play it at slow tempo. 1, 2, 3. 4 bars this is uh, phrase number 2 1 2 3 4 All right we were on the D minor 7 chord and now I play uh, the B string two more times. Then I glide down and play a D flat seven chord. That's the fourth fret, sixth, fourth by barring and the sixth, just the inner four strings. Then two more B strings. Then the entire chord again. That's the melody to myself and now I play a filler uh, thing a filler rhythm just the a D and uh, D sorry a D and G strings just play that quietly it's, it doesn't belong to the melody it's just so that the chord doesn't ring like forever G minor E string, I do not play the A string, but I fret it. D and G string, so up until the G string on the third fret. Then I stretch my pinky over to the sixth fret of the B string, play that twice, move it in, add the ring finger, and I get a C7. I play that from the A string. Three, five, three, five, in a four strings. Sixth of B. 8 of B and 10th along with the rest of the chord F major 7 this is regular jazz chord 8 10 uh, 9 10 and now I I have no more melody going on um, I'm sorry I got uh, a little cold so I uh, just uh, the uh, I, I play with my thumb or if you play with your pick then uh, play ever so slightly to fill just two strums. 
Then I go to, I stay here actually, and I play an uh, F sharp diminished chord, which substitutes for an F7 uh, flat 9. That's the 9, 10, 8, 10. And again, uh, two strums. Uh, and the resolution B flat major 7. 8, 7, 6, 5. And then actually there is no more melody, but I remember da da da. I don't know where that comes from. Is it in my head? Is it in the original version? I don't think so. But I uh it's a it's a nice filler thing instead of just staying there for an entire bar. So B flat major 7, 8, 7, 6, 5. Then uh, actually, I, I'm already here on the correct fret, but I'm used to playing six like that. This has more advantages usually. So seven of the G and six of the E. That's the interval of a sixth. And that's how I harmonize a melody sometimes. Then I glide down to the fifth and the fifth on the E. Then the third on the G and the third on the E. It's always the same uh, strings, G and E string. Then I have my pickup on the fifth of G and B again, and I already bar it because then um, the A section repeats, and we start with that same F chord. But first, let me play that uh, phrase number two at slow tempo for you. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the A2 section, which is the same as the A1 section, except for the ending, which we call the second house. All right, um, so the first six bars are the same. We uh, end like um, wonderful. And now we go to F6 instead of F major seven. Eight, seven, seven, six of the inner four strings. Then again, I have two strums. You don't need to do that, but it's boring without it, so we need to fill it up a bit. B flat 6, 9, that's a B flat on the 6th, then 5 of D and G by barring, I don't play the A string, and the 6th of the B string. Now when you strum, you have to mute the A string, right? Oops, that was a little hard. <laughs> And the F6 again, and two strums, and a third strum actually, or pick it again. So, second ending. Welcome to the first four bars of the B section. This is phrase number four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we start with a C9 chord. This is the C, third of the A string, second of the D, and then you bar over the third, third, third. Then three more E strings. Then the entire chord again. Now, this is the melody, first of the B string, and I add a sixth below for its harmony. That's the second fret of the D string. Another time, and I continue with my sixth. I move to the uh, string pair of E and G strings, sixth of E and seventh of G. 
Make sure your middle finger is in there. That's why I said in, a, in one of the previous phrases that I don't want to play like this because I'm used to this because now I can move between the sixths while keeping my middle finger on that glides along the strings, which is an advantage because you don't lose uh, contact to the guitar. Now I glide down to the fifth and add the fifth of the E string. Play twice, the fourth, and then the entire chord of F major 7, that's an upper chord voicing 3, 5, 5, 5 of the upper four strings. Then the pickup, sixth of the B, the same thing. But this time I don't play this twice, but only once, and the second time is on the third of G and E. Then I go up again where I was on the uh, seventh of G and sixth of E, two times of fifth of the fifth fret, then the fourth, and the entire F major seven chord again, and pick up for the next phrase, E string fifth, and the eighth. All right, and here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. Two, three, four. And here are the last four bars of the B section. This is phrase number five. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, what have we got here? We start with a full D minor chord. I think you know that, regular cowboy chord. 10, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10, all the way barred. I just strum with my pick, or you can use your thumb too if you uh, used your fingers before. But go slowly, don't go like, all right? There's so much time in this song, so keep it at a slow pace. Then the E string again, and the uh, B string again. Everyone phrases this a little different. Friends, da, 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 or friends, da, da, da. You could play, play it a little slower, or wait a little and then play it faster, as you like. Then we go over to C chord, regular cowboy chord. The same thing on the eighth fret, but with your middle finger. I think you know that, 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8. Right, strum through it. And now the uh, pinky goes to the 10th of the B string, and then back to the 8 of the E string, which is already barred, so. Then back to the D minor, and back to C. But no addendum here, nothing on the B string here. Um, no, no more uh, melody, I mean, just the chord. All right, uh, then once back to the D minor again. And two more E strings. C diminished. Here's the C, seven, eight, seven, eight. Upper four strings. The E string one more time. G minor 7, that's the G here on the 5th, 7, 6, 6, upper 4 strings. Glide down to the F sharp diminished, that's 4, 5, 4, 5. So this, these are quarter notes, so that may be uh, maybe a little hard to do, but it's really slow, so you've got enough time. And then G minor 7. Actually, just G minor. Uh, three, 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 and the three, the third of the uh, E string also. Upper three strings plus the E string bass. All right, and then we have to pick up again. I just move my bar chord and play the G and B string for the pickup for the A section again. 
All right, here is that uh, phrase number six, no, five at slow tempo. Two, three, four. And here is the C section already. And the first six bars are identical to the A section. So uh, let's repeat this quick. to the first or second house, uh, first or second ending, now we kind of have a third ending and that's called the coda, okay? So you jump from the coda sign to the other coda sign at the end. Coda is always the ending. All right, we go to the F major seven chord like we did in the first ending. Uh, that's eight, 10, nine, 10 of the inner four strings. Then a strum, two strums, then an A half diminished. Here's the A seven. 8, 8, 8 are the upper four strings. D7 flat 9, that's a diminished chord. 7, 8, 7, 8. All right, till here. Now I go to the uh, fifth of G and E. Pair of sixths again, I play them twice. Then a G minor nine chord. I need the G here, the third of the E string, plus the third of the G string, the B string, and the fifth of the E string. Then my pinky goes to the sixth of the B string. Try to keep everything ringing. Lift it off and uh, the third of the E string. D flat seven, that's a fourth of the A, six, four, six. We had it before, actually. You can, again, add uh, the lower three strings for uh, filling up uh, the space. Going to the G minor seven, third, third, third of the G, just to, up until the G string. B string sixth, play that twice. Then we had a C7, now we go to C7 flat 9 because it's, it gives us a little more tension. Um, where are we here? A fourth of A, fifth, a third, and fifth. Inner four strings. That's a C7 flat 9 or a C sharp diminished. Sixth of B, eight of B. Actually, this something like we had before, except for this little phrase. Diminished. And the last chord is an F6 chord. We usually end on six chords when we end in major. That's the eight, seven, seven, six of the inner four strings. And you could end it here, but if you want to give it that extra uh, twist, then you move, that's a trick for endings, okay? You leave your index here <coughs> because this is the melody note and you move your other fingers one to the right, right? That's a little hard to do, I know. So that's why I said you can leave it here. Move everything one up except for the melody note and, and then kind of uh, pick through the strings. I play with, uh, I play the A string and then from the B string and then you move it back in, right? So, all right. And here is that last phrase, number uh, six, the uh, coda sign at slow tempo. Two, three, four.
I really hope this was easy enough. Please uh, leave some suggestions as to what beginner-friendly songs you want me to teach you and in which style, chord melody, just the melody, whatever. Um, please leave a fat thumbs up if you uh, like the video, share the love and the knowledge. I see you next week. Servus, Baba. Thank you.